Guess who was an over an hour late getting off wow. work? <laughs> Get this party started. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. Got 13 kilometers to Apex. Just pulled over, letting things cool off a bit. Temp's pretty up there. Transmission temp is quite up there. <laughs> so. All right, well, we made it here to the lake, uh, Nickel Plate Lake. So we're making up some dinner here. Yum, yum. What do we, what do we got for dinner here, Carter? Got some chicken and rice. Nice. I got pre-cooked rice. Right on. And then I'll just throw it on the pan and we got the kebabs. Fire them on the grill. Oh, ho, ho, ho. right on. Yeah. Good stuff. Cool. Currently about 20 after 5. And uh, yeah, we're going to eat some supper and jump on the dirt bikes and head down to the mine. So a little bit of context for you guys here. This is one of the main hall levels of the mine. It is the lowest level and you can see the big ore bin out, out front there. So this evening's goal is to actually find the other hall level of the mine that we didn't know existed the last time we were here, which is over in the trees here. I found it with the drone. Um, the goal is to go into this level here and then come out up top where the big stoped out areas are. Um, not a huge loop inside, but uh, you can see I accidentally hit forward on the wrong joystick on the drone, <laughs> tried to go up, instead I went forward and almost hit the mountain. Um, so if you climb up a little bit here, I'm kind of looking around for it. You can see we've got all the big stoped out area. So this is the area you can drive vehicles right into it. Um, pretty impressive but uh, yeah so we ended up accidentally hiking up to this spot looking for that upper at it and so we ended up just going in there and then coming out the at it all right so we've decided since how we're here at the top now um, to just go in the top and come out that tunnel that you saw in the drone shot down down below here so the main tunnel is that way and that's where we just hiked up from accidentally we're we're getting her figured okay we're getting her <laughs> let's go all right so there's outside here we go good to be back sorry if the camera's shaky mines are not particularly easy uh walking paths all this rock on the ground and stuff So basically we're just going to beeline it right from the top here down to the bottom or to the lower level I should say. I'm not going to 
gander around too much. We don't exactly have a whole lot of time tonight. Zigzag our way down here. Man, it's crazy in here. <laughs> A little slippery. Good? Yeah, I'm good. Hey, hey. All right, we're going down here. Oh, wow, it's really slippery here. The rock is wet. There we go, we found the ladder. So we were so close to not even knowing it. Yeah, basically. Okay, I'll climb down the ladder here. pockets and stuff but oh well, that one goes up for days. yeah probably connects up to the top there yeah I imagine so yeah all right so basically when we're exploring mines if there's ever a point in the video where it suddenly cuts when I'm walking down a tunnel like this it's just because um, featureless tunnel is just I don't know kind of boring so if you're trying to follow along with where the mine goes and all the different branches and stuff, just know that if there's a cut in the video, it's because it's just a featureless tunnel, basically. So, all right, we've got another tunnel, some track. It's pretty cool. We are going to continue. Most of the um, side drifts in the in this mine seem to be pretty short. It seems. Outside. I'll be back one second. <laughs> Door's got a big hole in it. There we go. Yeah, so this is what I could see with the drone. Somehow we ended up way above it. But uh, yeah, so I guess they would have brought their mine carts out to this and dumped it in there and down to the road right there. Pretty cool. Okay, let's, let's head back into that ore chute and kind of explore a little bit. Yeah. What were you looking at here? Oh, wow. Kind of yeah. You can see there's a hanging wall there. So that's where mineral deposits end up forming is on these flat hanging walls. There's like the layers to the rock and that's where you'll find the different uh, mineral layers. And that's it. 
that's as far as they go. Yeah, it does definitely seem like in this mine, um, these little side drifts don't really seem to go very far ever. Let's check out this other one across the way real quick. <laughs> Zoom right across the hall level. Some old airline. A lot of timbering in here. Must have been a soft piece of ground here or something. It's cool, you can see the track. And again, see it doesn't go very far. Just right to there. All right, well, it's about 20 to eight. We've got about a 20 minute dirt bike ride back to the camp. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all the time we had for tonight. But uh, we will be back tomorrow, tomorrow morning, to uh, explore a loop that you can do from this bottom at it up to that top uh, worked out area there. So we're gonna try and figure that one out tomorrow. And all right, made it back to camp here. Definitely needed the helmet light. That came in very handy. Um, wow. There's a big mining operation, an open pit mine. Uh, it's actually called the nickel plate mine as well. Um, but uh, between here and the French mine that we're going to, and uh, they've got flaggers set up and rock trucks are running everywhere. And it's pretty intense. That's some huge equipment running up and down there. But uh, I wasn't sure if I was allowed to film it or not. It would've been cool to get on GoPro, but you don't really want to be messing around with a GoPro when you should be going. So <laughs> anyway, um, got buddy Garrett here joining us. Uh, you recall from uh, this past winter, he's the one riding the snow bike and the shoot climb videos and stuff like that. So, yeah, he's gonna hang out with us for a bit here and should be a good time. Good morning everybody. So it is currently 10 to 8. I've been awake since quarter after 6. Um, got about six and a half hours of rough sleep last night so can't complain I guess. But woke up to uh, some nasty smoke this morning. You can see the, our beautiful orange ball in the sky for a sun. And uh, yeah it the wood smoke smell is quite strong so we're not really sure if we're gonna be heading back to the mine this morning or not um, or if we're just wanting to head for home but uh, I guess that'll be kind of to be determined but uh, yeah so wow that is bright orange <laughs> that sun is crazy all right so we made it out to the main road here and already it is substantially smokier than down by the lake there. So, um, so heading kind of, this is, oh, losing my balance here. There we go. Um, this is looking west basically, more or less. Um, and that is where there's more smoke. Uh, that's kind of the direction of Princeton roughly. And it's saying that Princeton has a three mile visibility for smoke. And Penticton, which is east of us, has about 15 miles visibility for smoke and if you look up towards the sun you can see the clouds are moving towards Penticton slowly they were moving faster a second ago anyway so more or less it is going to get worse for smoke and it's already really bad um, it really really stinks out here so I'm thinking we might uh, just call it, head out. Um, it sucks, but that, and not to mention, I don't know what exploring a mine confined quarters um, is going to be like with smoke like this either. So I know the the mine does draft through it. You can feel a lot of air movement, so it's going to pull smoke in. But I don't know if the areas that don't have air movement are going to be more smoky or less smoky. So bit of a situation there anyway uh definitely a bummer for sure but hey we tried at least yeah we uh 
yeah so anyway at least we got last night's explore in that was fun oh yeah uh maybe that'll be for another part uh come back next spring or something like that when it's not smoky and do the the bigger loop the cooler loop and do some more exploring around but uh till then i guess let's head back to camp sure all right <laughs> so just back at the camp now here and yeah we can definitely tell it's gotten worse even since we left but it's interesting the lake provides like a layer of less smoky you can see there's a layer there but at this point you can't even see the hill that is like right there you can maybe faintly see it there but this morning we could see it now you can't so Tune going. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So as you guys probably know, I'm sponsored this year by 509. Uh, I'm actually currently wearing their base layers, uh, merino wool base layers, and uh, yeah, they worked awesome last night. Um, stayed warm. It was about plus three when we woke up this morning, so nice and chilly, but. Uh, I guess if you made it this far in the video, thanks so much for watching. A little bit uh, different than planned. <laughs> but unfortunately, the smoke was so bad. When we were leaving, like driving through Apex, it was like you could feel it burning your eyes. Like it was really bad. So um, as much as it kind of bothers me that we didn't get to go back and explore some more, I think it was the right move um, to just head out. It's far nicer here um, than it was back there. So. All right, so I think this coming weekend um, we might be going out to Danny's family cabin area there. We went out there last, uh, I think it was January, and found some old abandoned mines out there as well. And those ones have like never been explored since they were abandoned. So very cool area. Um, we're going to hopefully get out there here this coming weekend and... Uh, check out what it looks like without four feet of snow on it like it was last year so that should be really cool to to, uh, to do so be on the lookout for that video and uh, yeah I'll leave links to 509's website down in the description below be sure to go check them out and I guess I will see you guys in the next one peace